Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the challenge number, Core Java challenge number 8. And this challenge about uh, this keyword, it is a keyword, it is nothing but it is a reserved word available in a Java library. It holds object address, current object address it holds. So what is the use means? It is used to access it is used to access both static functionality, nothing but static members and non-static functionality, object level members, non-static functionality of object or we can say class anything. So, nothing but simply using this keyword, you can access static members as well as a non-static members also static members and non-static members and only one restriction it must be used it must be used only in a only in a non-static context so nothing but only inside the non-static area inside the non-static method inside the constructor or inside the non-static block only you can use it this keyword you cannot use inside the static area. So, I will show you a small code just like a test. Here we are writing, we are writing one static block and one non-static block like we can say instance block, instance block. Inside the instance block whenever you use the keyword this this compiler is not showing any error because it is allowed according to the Java language rules. Here it is, uh, whenever we are trying to use uh, this inside the static context in the static area, it gives error. Non-static variable this cannot be referenced from a static context, it is not allowed. See here my requirement is using this keyword you can access both static and non-static functionality both static and non-static see the code so i'll give so not the complete code in a test so write that main and of course it's completely you have to write public static wide main and everything main is a static of course and here it is one non-static method access is a method access and here it is in the main just create object for this test instantiate or nothing but create object both are same instantiate test class and next invoke access function or you can say access method so whenever we invoke after instantiating the test class the control enters into this access this is non-static method you can say this is non-static context from this from this access static member and non-static member static member means just like a static void m1 it's a static method just display sop sop it's a static method and next without using the static just m2 it's a non-static SOP stand output it's a non-static non-static method so my requirement is just access m1 and m2 method here access m1 and m2 methods how to access using this so you have to write uh, these three statements only a theoretical statements you just convert into technical statements that is all and prove uh, this keyword can be used to access both static members and non-static members of a class that is okay. So, the remaining code you have to complete in the main 
these two statements convert into technical statements and here it is also the statement convert into technical statement and comment the complete code. Okay, thank you.